We have a gold mine of lessons here. And what we need to do is make sure that we have the lessons correct and then push them out to the world. Push them out to Haiti. Push them out to the East Coast uh, during Sandy. Apply the lessons that we learned here. Push them out to Japan in the wake of their triple disaster in terms of more efficient and effective ways of managing uh, social workers and psychologists and other people who go into harm's way to provide mental health services. So in the last 10 years since Hurricane Katrina, we've built uh, nine homes, one public market, and we've worked, we've worked on a landscape project with the Make It Right Foundation. The Urban Build experience allows students to first develop uh, schematic approaches to dwelling types. Then they develop those proposals and put together construction documents. They then work with the city. They detail all the construction techniques needed to fabricate the house. The only time in their academic experience where they're able to join hands with others, with their colleagues, and build one project together. What, uh, what New Orleans boasts today is uh, access to community health in neighborhoods. We have some 80 sites, nationally recognized, nationally accredited, improving care and have good quality, well liked by those who get them. Uh, this is a complete change from the way we took care of people for generations who mostly had to go to the emergency room. It's lower cost, better quality, better service, and it's also uh, an economic engine for those neighborhoods because it's creating jobs and it's a way that we can train the next generation of doctors in neighborhoods in primary care so they really understand about what it means to meet patients where they are in their community. Our service learning offerings have almost tripled since Katrina. Our programs have changed and expanded in order to accommodate all of those interests. This has allowed students a very unique experience. So that has brought in a student body that is both interested and committed to service, whether that be in New Orleans or in their home institutions or uh, across the world. And we have seen that, that, seen that change in our students since Katrina. When Bob Ezrin was the head of Music Riser, what he always said was he wanted a teacher anywhere in the world to be able to come to the website and build a unit around teaching music and culture. It's accessible, it's free, and it's actually not the kind of information that's easy to come by on the web in a contextual fashion. The Center for the Gulf South is a resource for the country, teachers, the world, students, and really for self-starters anywhere, for anyone interested in music in particular. We, we could trace disasters here. Uh, the very first one was a flood in 1719. Uh, and then there was a hurricane, the first hurricane in 1722, that unlike Katrina, really did wipe the slate clean. It, uh, it blew away three years of very provisional, four years of very provisional development and allowed for the planned laying out of the, of the French Quarter street grid. Um, 280 years later, when Katrina hit, uh, we used that metaphor, wiping the slate clean, but it wasn't true at all. Uh, and foot of floodwaters didn't even come close to wiping away the economic value, the emotional value, the, the attachment to place that New Orleanians had inscribed into this space over 280 years. So now we're 10 years since Katrina and 92% of the uh, public school students in New Orleans are in uh, charter schools, by far the highest in America. On all the key metrics of student achievement, we've really advanced significantly in the last 10 years. And where we can't declare victory yet in public education, the trajectory is very impressive. And I think in another 10 or 20 years, we may have one of the very best public education systems in America. For people with big ideas, this was America's petri dish where it came when it came to entrepreneurship and education. Uh, frankly, before Katrina, it was kind of one of those older southern cities that was, you know, perhaps even a little bit hesitant about new ideas and new people. And that changed dramatically after the storm. And now we have a situation where we have all these educated young people moving into town, all the tremendous desire to come to Tulane. They're coming here because they want to be in New Orleans. 
You know, I think Tulane and the Freeman School of Business is really at the heart of that rejuvenation of entrepreneurs. We really have become what I like to call the kind of the business answer center for the Gulf Coast. And it's the place, you know, if you, you get yourself in a pickle, I think that number, that Freeman School phone number is what you use.